Hey, it's Mike. It is Sunday. I'm pumped for the new week. I don't know why, but I am. Got a video today about um, the 1916 Tango Eggs baseball cards. These are one of the rarest vintage card sets out there. Uh, it's really interesting, I think, when cards aren't even discovered until 75 years after they were created, which is the case with the Tango Eggs set. Um, these were produced in 1916 for the Frank L. Frank and Company Egg Company of New Orleans. And um, they were distributed, or they were created in conjunction with the egg set, but nobody knows today how they were distributed or if they were distributed. Um, they were completely undiscovered until 1991 when somebody found what is believed to be between 500 and 800 of the cards in one fell swoop somewhere. And it's basically unknown what the origin was, but um, most of them at that time, or maybe even all of them in that collection found in 91, were pretty high grade, um, mid to up to PSA 8 grades. So they were believed to have been actually undistributed, the, that collection of them. So they were just never issued at all. Since then, more have been discovered that were lower grade and were believed to have been issued at some point in the 19 teens. But uh, nobody knows how they were distributed. It's, it's a really interesting story, a pretty rare find. And so the, these cards currently are believed to be a 19 card set. There have been rumors about a Honus Wagner being part of the set as well, but it's unproven. He he's, hasn't been found, at least as far as I was able to find. I, I searched and searched uh, pop reports and, and articles about the set. The cards are very similar to the 1915 E106 American Caramel set. Uh, same size, in fact, uh, same images in most cases, I believe. Um, they have the same colors, same glossy stock, same portraits. So um, they're believed to be like a parallel set, just issued for a different company with different backs, because the back of them says that they're Tango Eggs cards. Um, so in terms of the pop report, PSA has 327 of the cards graded or authenticated, uh, zero of them above a PSA 8. Uh, they only have one of the cobs. Now there are two Thai cobs. The interesting thing is that one of those cobs was not found until about 2018. The cob that was known for a lot longer is one where he's front facing facing and that that is currently graded in SGC we'll get to that one in a moment the other one that was just found in the last few years he's actually swinging the bat that's the one that was found in 2018 or so and uh, it's the one that PSA has graded that in PSA's pop report they have one Thai Cobb they graded it a two and it sold for $66,000 in 2019 pretty amazing and that's pre-pandemic prices pre-boom I'd be really interested to see this card go up for sale now. Um, it would go easy, easy, well into the six figures. You got to think. It's the only one of it known in, his, in, in its existence. The other one, the front facing Cobb, was sold, this is really interesting, was sold for almost $18,000 in 2011. It's an SGC1 in the old, it's an SGC1 in the old label, SGC. So we sold for almost $18,000 in 2011, and then just $15,000 six years later in 2017. And that was still before the other one was found. So really interesting to see that that declined in value. It's pretty rare for a single pop, one pop uh, card, vintage card, to go down in value, especially of a guy like Ty Cobb. I'd be interested, to, again, also, to see that one come up for sale now. Would it, it, I feel like that one, even in the poor condition it's in, would still go for well, well into the five figures, even if not six figures. The Eddie Plank card was discovered in 2012, so interesting to see Eddie, Eddie Plank was discovered more than 20 years after the other ones were discovered. Uh, the Billy Maya, there are four errors, and some people believe that these aren't error cards, actually. I'm going to go through these in a minute. Uh, but these guys, the four guys that are error, pick, error cards, 
we're all switching teams that year. Uh, and some people believe that maybe they weren't actually errors. They, the photos were selected that were kind of, um, they didn't really show their faces that well and they didn't show their teams and they were intentionally done that way. I don't know, they seem like errors to me. For instance, Billy Meyer card actually shows Fred Jacklich. Uh, Ray Morgan's card features Mike Doolin. Happy Felsch shows Ray Demet. And Buck Weaver card features Joe Tinker. So you might say that these egg cards are scrambled. Sorry about that. Yeah, so uh, 1916 Tango Eggs, you can actually find these cards on eBay, some of them, uh, graded, raw, whatever. Uh, obviously, if you're buying them raw, make sure they come with that authenticity guaranteed, the eBay authenticity. Those will get authenticated by CSG, and now I am sure to get comments from people saying, CSG's terrible, don't trust them. Ugh. So anyway, um, yeah, let me know. Have you ever heard of these? I hadn't heard of these until recently. I don't own any. I would love to own one of a Hall of Famer, or one, actually, this is the type of set I would love to own one at all. Um, let me know, have you heard of the Tango Eggs set? Do you own any? Have you ever seen them? I think they're really cool. Uh, this week, I'm expecting to get a bunch of autographed cards in. I sent off a bunch for TTM. I've also bought some more on eBay that I found really, really cheap. So I'm going to do a video uh, wrap-up of those at some point in the near future. I also have a video coming up soon about some Panini uh, quality check issues, which I think we can all appreciate. Now, t you know, we, I think we as vintage collectors look at Panini and say, what a joke. They have all these errors, but Topps and Bowman had a lot of errors too. So it's not unique. I just, I, it, I can't help but feel like Panini does it more. And they're, some of them are really, really, really bad, like putting the wrong autograph sticker on the wrong player's card. So anyway, throw a subscribe on. I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Click that bell icon so you get notified when I put out a new video. I've got a lot of stuff coming out. And thanks very much for watching.